Welcome to another episode of Artifact Show whereby we do reviews and test drives of the best cars in the Kenya automotive field. So today we have a 2016 Audi SQ5 and I'll be your host Albert. And I'll be your host Sunet. Enjoy! But today we have the SQ5 with us. Um, it's a very beautiful car, as you can all see. Um, most people normally wonder the difference between the SQ5 and the normal Q5. Uh, for this particular one, it's uh, supercharged. Um, that's what the S means. It's got a very sporty look. It's got dynamic uh, LED headlights. Comes with a very sporty grille as well. Uh, yeah, for the front bumper, it's got the fog lights, it's got uh, parking sensors as well. Yeah, mostly what we can talk about the front for now. So in comparison to the normal Q5, um, we're able to see that the SQ5 is much lower. Um, it's much smaller in size as well. Uh, it's got two, two ghosts. I'm giving it a much sportier look. Um, it's got the rear camera. The rear headlights are quite beautiful as well. Gives the car a very nice look. Um, yeah, let's check out the trunk. So going into the trunk, um, we're able to see it's quite spacious for traveling. You can carry your luggage in here. Yeah, vision for your spare wheel and uh, your tools. Yeah, pretty much it. Uh, it's automatic. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it for the rear end of the SQ5. Interior of the. 2016 Audi SQ5 and I'll be taking you through every single bit of it. So starting with let's start with the seats. The SQ5 is equipped with very very comfortable leather seats which have a very nice finishing which add a very comfortable touch to all the seats. Let's get to the finishing of the dashboard and feels very good the finishing is very soft and the leather is good uh, let's dive in straight into the steering wheel the sq5 is equipped with a multifunctional steering wheel which gives the driver a variety of options i would start to demonstrate with the indicators the lights I have the wipers here with me for everything have the paddle shifters which feel very comfortable perfect size for a small steering wheel very comfortable i like to talk about the horn not so bad not so good uh yeah i like to talk about the dashboard well the dashboard has a very unique look it looks very nice the finishing is fantastic and the First thing you're gonna notice is that the car does 300 kilometers per hour, which must be amazing. Uh, let's talk about this gear right over here. It looks very nice and lovely. Feels feels different to all types of gears that I've felt before. But overall, it looks very good. The, I'd like to say the. The whole system, basically you can tell it's a German, especially because the old BMW used to look like this, but this is still good. Yeah, the car is equipped with a navigation system, which uh, gives out uh, positions and uh, locations where you are, lifetime traffic as well. It's equipped with a telephone, you can uh, connect your phone to it, uh, Bluetooth as well. It's equipped with a FM radio, 
The car is also equipped with certain features such as uh, the parking system. This can easily be demonstrated uh, when the driver is reversing. It gives you the opportunity to assist. The car automatically assists the driver park its car, uh, even maintain its lanes when you're in traffic. And this is displayed through a rear camera. Unfortunately, the car doesn't come with a front camera, but it's equipped with a rear camera, which is very helpful when it comes to reversing. So welcome to the back of the interior of the SQ5 and I'd like to say that the space is not so bad, it's not so good, the car itself is not so big so you're, the back space is quite good, uh, especially for tall people. I can also say that the seats are very comfortable. This particular SQ5 I equipped with uh, seat holders for baby seats so if you have a car seat for your child well, don't worry about that because this car is equipped with, with holders for the baby seats. So this is the armrest. It, uh, yeah, it feels very good. Of course it has to come with cup holders which is uh, the best thing about it is how it can expand which is good because of the different sizes of drinks. Other than that, I'd like to say the, yeah, the interior of the back of the SQ5 is not as bad. It's very good. And yeah. So there you have it, guys, the 2016 Audi SQ5. Um, we have been able to see that it's uh, quite a sporty car um, compared to the normal Q5s. Uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe and follow us on our socials, both YouTube and Instagram. I've been your host, Shunet. I've been your host, Albert. Thank you for joining us.